With your first news at six sports, here's Lee Timmerman. They come to Bismarck from around the country with the hopes of moving up the baseball ladder. That's exactly what happened this week for our sports spotlight. Ben Dacu tells us about CJ Richmond. Western Illinois, Iowa Western, Western Michigan. The Lark CJ Richmond has certainly gotten around during his time as a collegiate baseball player. I'd say it's an experience. I mean, it's been fun. You know, it's not a lot of people get to travel all across the country and play baseball in all these different states, so I take it as a blessing for sure. I think each step is like a level up, you know, like I'm getting better at each place, picking up and learning from uh, new coaches and new friends and new teammates. You know, you can take something from everywhere you come from. CJ's brief time in Bismarck so far has been quite successful. His bat has definitely made an impression on his manager. No, CJ's been outstanding. You know, he's got great power. Uh, raw power is unbelievable. Uh, I think he needs to make a little more consistent contact, and if he does that, he's going to be really hard to stop. Iowa Western is a JUCO with a well-known baseball program. CJ, along with his teammates, were there for a simple reason, to find their way to the next level. Collective as a team, we, had to, we knew we had to get out. We knew we had one more year, and if we didn't find a place to play at the next level, we were going to be done with baseball, so it was kind of like a sink or swim type of deal. And that brings us to the present. After a season at Western Michigan, CJ opted to enter the transfer portal. He came to the Larks this summer to work on his glove. I like to be able to play defense, and at Western Michigan I was stuck in the DH role, so getting in the portal is uh, the best thing for my career. You never know who's watching out here, and uh, obviously the MLB draft is knocking at the door as well, so just showing everybody I can play defense is just going to help me more around it as a player overall. I think it gives him a better opportunity. Uh, you know, get drafted by a professional baseball team. They got to know you can play position. You know, it's very rare they would just, you know, draft a college designated hitter. To recap, CJ came to a brand new city for the summer, is thinking about getting drafted, and has dealt with being in the transfer portal. Portal's not bad. It's kind of stressful because, you know, you have schools from all over the country calling at all different times of the day, different time zones, different coaches. So you just kind of got to, like, really pay attention and know what you want before going into it. This week, CJ announced his commitment to play for Purdue University next season, where he hopes to compete for a Big Ten championship and an opportunity to play at Omaha in the College World Series. With the spotlight on CJ Richmond, for your news leader, I'm Ben Dacu. Well, you know it's a big event if a down year is around 360 teams. The 49th Annual Sam McQuaid Senior Budweiser Charity Softball Tournament begins on Friday in Bismarck Mandan. Mike Wolf is well into his fourth decade of being involved with the McQuaid, and he says softball is down a little bit across the region as well. We're pretty positive that things will bounce back for the 50th next year uh, when we get going. Um, we play on 40 diamonds throughout Bismarck and Mandan. Uh, people that come here from out of state just are totally blown away by the fact that, you know, the size of communities of Bismarck and Mandan, that we have 40 fields that we can play on, and that's the reason why we can hold a, a tournament this large. Mike is in charge of organizing the umpires as well. He says 115 will be on hand this week. 15 division champions will be crowned on Sunday. Always a fun weekend. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back.